In just eight days, the Paris Olympic start and breakdancing will make its debut as an Olympic event. Hear from some local faces in Rockford's hip hop community on what breaking means to them and their thoughts on its debut in Paris. Actively involved in the hip hop community since 1999. Back in fifth grade, probably. I've been breaking since 1995, about 2001. Ever since it was like my junior year of high school, actually, there was this uh, friend that I had. He could sing, he could make music, and he could dance. I thought he was like the coolest dude out there. It broke me out of my shell. I'm an introvert, but with extrovert skills. So that allowed me to have conversations with people. Yeah, I view it as like one of my greatest ways of being able to make community. The hip hop uh, culture really, what, what it really, really does, it brings people together all over the world. It really is a, a freedom to have. The thing that I do like about break dance, any type of dancing is, no matter what language you speak, you connect with that person. It touches base with a lot of people originally from like the lower income communities, basically because it was just, you know, you didn't really need, you didn't need money to break, you know, it's just, it's a dance. It's, it's a soup that you can just keep adding different things into, and it's the one thing no one can tell you, like, hey, do it this way, dance is such a freedom. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about it, but for me personally, uh, another avenue to uh, get people to, off the streets and to do something positive and to exercise and to get engaged, to me, that's a good thing. It's really going to be a lot of mixed emotion, but I think it's going to be way more positive. Those strategies end up uh, making people focus more on, on the winning than the expression part of it. And I think that's where there's going to be a lot of dissonance between um, folks who are more about the art form than they are about the sport in itself. If you do this certain move and you know it would get you on a trip to Paris to take a, get a great experience, a plane trip, experience anywhere, would you sacrifice that over doing a move that you really like to do? It's almost like a yin and yang. Sometimes you gotta give a little bit to get a little bit. And there's always purists out there that says, you know, it needs to stay in the street where it should be, you know, but the beauty of this world is that you can have both, you know? It was only getting paid hundreds of dollars. Now you have dancers out there who are getting sponsored. You know, there is, there's an awareness about the culture. Um, they're really pushing the history of it as well. But this time that people who aren't educated on what this is about, and they're gonna realize how hard but amazing it looks. I think that's amazing that people who are in the culture get to experience something like this. I think that though there might be a lot of controversy around it, um, that the sheer amount of exposure that, that it gets um, says something about um, how influential it is. And I'm just really glad to, to be a part of that and feel like I'm connected to it. People are going to be running home from work. Oh man, I got to watch the Olympics. They break dancing. <laughs> so it's going to add uh, a definitely a big impact to the world. I'm going to love it and they're going to love it and you're going to love it too. <laughs> Big thanks to all those in the breaking community I spoke to. If you want to see them in action, September 8th is the Battle at Levings Park right here in Rockford. Should be a ton of fun, but until then, that'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.